guys, we're the Group 3 and we're here to discuss about So what is crankcase crank explosion? So crankcase explosion, it is an explosion that occurs in the crankcase because of the mixture of oil mist and air in the ratio that is within the range of flammability. In addition, there must be a source of high temperature energy sufficient to initiate combustion. This source is called hot spot. How crankcase explosion occurs? All it needs is a combination of heat, air, and flammable substance to catch fire or explosion. Unfortunately, all three always present in the crankcase space. There's a lot of blue oil, air, and pocket of hot, hot spot. Because of the reciprocating action of the engine, there's a lot of coming of blue oil, producing smaller oil smaller oil particles up to 200 micrometers in India. India. The breather allows us to unpipe the flow of gases out of the atmosphere and clean air into the tank pipe, thereby preventing vacuum locks, whilst ensuring provision of, of a permanent and reliable protection against the flashback into the tank pipe. The device is not permitted to the install in enclosed areas. Oil mist detector. It is used to detect any buildup of potentially explosive oil mist. Crankcase relief door serves to relieve excessive crankcase pressure and stops flames. So, next is bearing temperature sensor. Bearing temperature sensor are designed to monitor the temperature of bearings on large rotating plant. Next is LO return temperature sensor. It is indoor air moving toward the return vents passes by the sensor and coils. So next is routine test on use LO for viscosity flash point contamination. So it is monitoring the temperature permits early indication of changes and allows plan maintenance improve performance and prevent long down times good day everyone i'm kenneth syria i am here to talk about how to prevent the crankcase explosion first to minimize the formation of explosive mixture breather pipe or exhaust fan fitted on crankcase. Second is to prevent the formation of hot spot in the crankcase. The bearing should be in correct running clearance. Lubricating oil should be adequately supplied to bearing, chain with sprocket wheels and other running parts. Third is the, the piston with rings and cylinder should be in safe working limits. And the last one is good fitting and efficient locking of working parts.